Supply and demand moves the market. I'm sure you've heard it a lot, but today I'm gonna show it to you practically how using the supply and demand indicator, you can be on the winning side by picking high restore ratio trades. And I'm also going to be sharing with you a very amazing strategy, which saves you from a lot of stop losses. And also it gives you high restore ratio trades. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll be posting new content related to supply and demand and other trading strategies regularly. So first of all, let me show you what the supply and demand zones looks like. I've talked about this in previous videos as well. So here's just a recap. There are four types of zones. There is There are the demand zones that are rally based rally and drop based rally. So these are demand zones and they look like this in which the first channel is a impulsive candle then there's this base candle and then impulsive candle and in our drop base rally demand zone there is this drop candle or impulsive bearish candle then there's this base region and then again there is an impulsive candle and the supply zone are inverse of these demand zones so in supply zone there is a drop base and drop region and also a rally base drop region so the rally and drop candles are impulsive candles and the base candles are the candles with ranging market structure as you can see in all the supply and demand zones but finding these supply and demand zones on the charts can be a tedious process that's why the indicator comes in so let me just go towards the indicator tab and here i just apply i'm gonna apply the supply and demand indicator so if i search for supply and demand indicator you can see the supply and demand zones indicator made by forexp and as you can see it's being liked by a lot of traders so traders are really loving this indicator so let me just apply to the chart and let me hit apply so once the indicator is applied it will automatically draw the supply and demand zones for you for example here you can see the indicator is showing this drop based rally zone here this rally based rally zone and here this rally based drop drop based drop supply zone so along with the zones the indicator is also showing us this table which shows all the information related to these zones for example what are the highs and lows of the latest zones and also what is the daily trend in the market is it bullish or bearish so now since you can see the indicator in action and it's trying the supply and demand zones for you in real time let's back test some of the trades that the indicator has taken so here you can see that there is this rally base drop supply zone let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can see it a bit clearly clearly so here the indicator is detecting this rally base drop supply zone let me just go ahead and move this here so now here you can see the indicator showed us the supply zone as soon as it found at the close of this very next count so at this candle the indicator started drawing this zone and with the movement of every next candle the indicator is drawing this zone now how do we trade that zone the psychology behind trading the supply zones is that once the zone is formed the market will come back somewhere in the future to pick those pending orders and then it will move in the bearish direction so that's the move that we want to capture so we'll put a pending order at this supply zone so we'll put a short entry at the low of the supply zone and we'll put our stop loss somewhere here and initially we'll be targeting one ratio one ratio to our ratio so now let's wait for this trade to be picked and let's see what happens in the market and also in order to for the trend confirmation you can go ahead and apply the super trend indicator and this indicator comes in very handy in the ranging markets so for example here you can see that the trend the super trend indicator is showing us a bearish trend so we're good to take a short position at this bearish trend and now let's far play the market and see what happens so as you can see that at this supply zone let me just move this here so as you can see our orders get picked at this supply zone from here because we will be putting our entry and our stop loss just few pips above this high and just few pips below this low of the supply zone so the order got picked here now we want to wait for the super trend indicator to change from red to green or to show us that the trend is gonna reverse from bearish to bullish well and that will happen once this line turns green and also our one to one restore ratio is met so we're saved from the stop stop loss and this is what's cool about this strategy so let's power play the market and as you can see there is a formation of another demand zone we're gonna look at this later but, but first let's go ahead and check what restore ratio we got from our trade so the super trend indicator turned from red to green 
at this candle here so we can close our position at the close of this candle here okay at the high of this candle. so let me just move this downward at the close of this candle and let me just move it here so this trade has been a profit of almost 13 risk to our ratio which is phenomenal now let's talk about this latest zone that we are detecting that is rally base rally demand zone and as you can see right after the formation of this demand zone the orders got picked and they were picked by this pin bar in the bullish direction so this is again a very good trade and let's look at the overall trend by the super trend indicator which is also bullish when the trade is picked so we can put our entry at the close at the high of this demand zone and we can put our stop loss just few pips below this demand zone because since this is demand zone and the trading psychology behind trading the demand zones is that once a zone is formed the market will go above and then come back in order to pick these pending orders at this zone somewhere here and then it will move impulsively in the bullish direction and this is the move that we want to capture by the buyers so since you can see the orders are picked on the very next channel so we can put our entry at the close here because the zone would be formed at the close of this count so we would be notified as soon as the demand zone forms. so we we'll put our entries and then here we can put our entry here and we can put our stop loss some few pips we have below this low of this demand zone and now let's wait for the market or this trend to change from bullish to bearish so and also first of all we want to target one ratio one risk to our ratio so as you can see the risk to our ratio of one ratio one is met so we can break even the trade so that will be saved from the stop loss so now let me just forward play the market and let's see what happens so as you can see on this candle the trend changed from bullish to bearish so we can close our entry at the close of this candle here and this trade again is a profit of three risk to our ratio which is again very good now let's wait for the formation of any other supply or demand zone and we'll be taking that trade so as you can see the as soon as the zone formed the indicator started to draw this zone and this is what's really cool about this indicator and once let me just go back here so as you can see on this very next panel the indicator will start to draw this zone so let me just wait for the indicator to load and on this very next panel you can see that the zone is formed and it's notified the indicator has notified it right away that there is this demand zone and now we can what we can do is we can put our entry at the close or at the high of this zone here and we can put our pending stop loss somewhere here and now from here the market will come back after making this demand zone the market will go up and then come back to pick these orders and then move in the bullish direction so let's wait for the market to come back and let's see what happens so you can see on the very next panel the market comes back and picks the pending buy orders and because of that momentum that the market gained from the buyers here you can see this impulsive move in the bullish direction so with the super trend indicator we are also sure that the trend is bullish so we're good to take this long position and let's wait for the market to turn from bullish to bearish and we'll be notified by the super trend indicator when that happens so on the close of this candle you can see that the indicator started drawing this line in red so we're sure that the market is not has now turned from bullish to bearish so we can close our entry at the close of this count now let's look at the results of the risk to our ratio as you can see with this minimal stop loss and with this pinpoint entry we were able to capture our trade of almost 17.5 risk to our ratio now this is again very phenomenal and let's look for any other trade that we can take using this indicator by the way, if you want to get access to the indicator, I put the links in the description of the video. So please make sure to check that out. And also you can visit our website www.4xp in order to learn more about the indicator. Again, here you can see the formation of another supply zone. And on this supply zone, again, the orders are picked after formation of the supply zone. The market went a little bit below, then came back to pick the pending orders on this channel here. And then with this pinpoint entry, we can put our entry here and our orders got picked here so 
first we'll be targeting 1.1 1 ratio 1 ratio to our ratio and then after that we can use the super trend indicator for taking profit so let's wait for this line to turn from green, red to green so as you can see that happens on this candle here so we can close our position at the close of this candle and let's move this here and as you can see again this trade is a profit of risk to our ratio 6.5 which is again very great so as you can see because of the this market conditions as of right now i'm testing this indicator the results are phenomenal but it does give you sometimes uh stop losses and most of the times you'll be taking these high risk to ratio trades or you will be breaking even so even if it does give some stop losses that as you can see in any financial market there are stop losses and there are break evens but what's cool about this indicator is it gives you these high risk to ratio trades which allow you to multiply your trading account so again if you're interested please check the link in the description and also you can go through other videos on this channel about the supply and demand indicator and supply and demand zones and also if you have any questions please comment down below or you can reach out to us at info at forexb.co if you have any questions about the indicator or supply and demand trading strategies i'd love to answer those to you also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video thank you